Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz and this is a request video. This is, was requested both in one of my live streams and on my Discord server uh, by one of my subbies and he said can you do a video on the AMX 5100 and the AMX 5120. So this is it, this is the AMX 5100, the French tier 8 heavy tank which I like to say je suis autoloader because it's an autoloader. It's actually not a bad tank. It's a tech tree tank and here it is in all its glory. I mean it's a nice looking tank and in typical true French fashion apart from the Foch it hasn't really got any armor and it's got pretty decent mobility. What about its stats? Well when you look at those it's dishing out 310 on each round and it's an auto loader so it's a three clip. Rate of fire, well, because it's an auto loader, it's a bit slow. Penetration's good, armor's not bad, speed is okay, and the rotation is pretty good. I'll get back to the armor later. Hit point wise, it's got 1,500. Um, as you can see, it's got some armor on the front. It hasn't got much though, guys. View range, not too bad. Uh, camo profile, pretty naff. Rate of fire, well, the DPM is 2,108 a minute. It's got a reload time of that magazine of 20 seconds. And between clips, shells, it's three seconds. Damage-wise, it's dishing out 310 on its AP, and it's got pretty good penetration. Depression, six degrees, it's got none to say. Speed-wise, mobility, it's pretty nice. Let's have a look at this armor, and there you can see there the skin in armor profile, and it hasn't really got any. I mean, 90 millimeters on the front for a tier eight heavy tank is pretty pants. In fact, don't forget, it's an auto loader, so you're very vulnerable when you're loading those magazines. This is it facing up against a Tiger II, and as you can see, he only has to blow in the general direction, and you're going to be penetrated. And this is the tricky downside and vulnerability of this tank. Its armor is absolutely awful. Um, and when you're doing that big magazine reload of 20 odd seconds, guys, you really are very, very vulnerable indeed. So, how do you play this damn thing? Well, like all auto autoloaders, you can't really frontline this. This is a second line support heavy. And you need to have somewhere to hide your tank when you are loading those magazines. Without that, you're going to struggle in this thing, guys. I mean, everything is going to absolutely annihilate you. Here we are rolling out on Port Bay. Uh, unfortunately, the meds did not go over the river. But not, not to worry. I mean, it is what it is. Um, this is the thing about this tank. You can, it, it's a peek and shoot. And the idea is you've got to try and unload this clip into something. And as you can see, it will not struggle with pen. The good handling is pretty nice. However, I mean, I say that, and then I go and miss the blimmin' stir meal. The thing is, though, don't be under any illusion, guys. Literally, every man and his dog and his dog's fleas are going to be able to pen you. You are absolutely paper thin. And you are utterly exposed when you are changing those magazines. So you need to be able to back away, load in safety, and then repop and shoot. If you can do that, you've mastered half of this tank, in all honesty. I mean, this thing will dish out massive burst damage. And that is where its strengths are. The strength is in the gun. It's certainly not in the armor. It's the gun and the mobility. So you've got to peek, shoot, try and unload your clip into a single tank if you can. I mean, it's not always possible. And then get behind cover, wait for that reload, peek again, and blow stuff up. This is how you play an autoloader. It's as simple as that. I mean, look at this. It will not struggle to pen tanks. It will, however, easily penable. <laughs> as you can see here, I mean, everybody's taking pop shots at me, and I, they, they're just penning me. Oh, I missed the IS-6 there. He just angled up nicely. Now I've got to back away, wait that 20 seconds for that reload. And this is the thing, and all I can do here is hold the line. I am not frontlining it. I am a support tank, and that's what you need to do. 
if you rush in and play this like a heavy, guys, you're going to suffer. I mean, look at this. I'm on next to no hit points now. And all I'm doing is supporting. But I'm able to get shots into this AT-15, uh, able to empty my entire clip into him, brought him down to next to nothing. Now I've got to back away, reload, and hope my team will finish the job for me on the AT-15, allow me to poke around the corner again once I'm reloaded, which I do. So now I'm reloaded, I'm going to get back around the corner and try and give the IS-6 or something... Yeah, the IS-6 a hard time. There's the IS-6, boom, there's one. Come on, three seconds, seems eternity, there's two. Can I get the third one in before somebody kills him? Yes, I can. And that is what you should be doing in this tank, guys. Nice amount of damage, 3,000. It's not setting the world on fire. We're only going to get a second class for that. We do get a second class for that. We get some decent credits. And we just held the line. And, and that is the trick behind this tank. It's a lovely tank, don't get me wrong, but a lot of people will struggle in it because it's got mobility and when a tank has mobility, everybody wants to use the mobility. But the thing is, the mobility on this tank is to get you into cover while you reload. It's not to get you into danger. Now, I'm very lucky here. I'm capping the B-cap. I, I know they're there. And look at that, I bounce on my ass. That is outrageous. <laughs> I mean, that's just spectacular. Now. Don't get me wrong, when this tank needs to brawl, it can brawl. I mean, y you've got quite a decent amount of hit points that um, it takes quite a while to whittle down. Um, if you've got your magazine loaded, then you are formidable because you really can brawl encounter. So I'm going to try and get around the side here. Um, my ping gets a bit high, so I get stuck a little bit in a moment. Not to worry. Uh, I miss him. Um, he's gone. There's a, there's a, what is it, is it a panther? Yeah, or oh, a Pershing, sorry, there's a Pershing. I get stuck a little bit there, but I managed to smack one into the Pershing. Now I'm just going to wait. Hopefully the Pershing's going to either stick his nose around the corner or the Borsig's going to stick his nose around the corner. Either way, I've got two targets in front of me. There goes the Pershing. Boom. Can I get a third one into him before he moves? Yes, I can. So I've emptied the entire clip into that Pershing, and now my team can basically clear him up. But I can see that there's a Tiger 1, there's an IS, and there's a T-71 trying to push around the side. We've already lost our Tiger P, not to worry. Uh, wait for this magazine to load. I'm now going to peek around this corner and try and smack something into either the IS or the Tiger. Uh, well, there's the IS. Stick one into him. Can I get a second one into him? Boom, yes I can. What about a third one? Oh no, the Tiger comes around the corner, so I have to shoot the Tiger instead. Now I've got to back away. The IS is on a long reload. The Tiger isn't. The IS is now fine and taking a kill. I'm only halfway through my reload. I have three tanks going to push me. I'm going to try and get into this corner. It's not a great side scraper, but any sort of minimization of your tank will help. The IS puts a big roll into me. I've still got good hit points. I can take the IS, clear him out. T-71, I can clear him too. There he goes. Just leaves the Tiger 1 left, and I've got one shell left in the clip, but somebody else comes around and takes him out. Mm, not bad. We bounced a bit of damage there. We did 2,000. Uh, 169, nothing great. We get a second class because it's supremacy mode and with the top tank. So, this is the thing about this tank. Y you've got to remember you're vulnerable. Don't stick it in front, guys. Always have cover nearby. The, the, the closer your cover is for you to get that reload when you're suffering is going to help you no end. Here we are on Mayan. We're going to rush out to the sea cap. We can poke him. Boom. He backs away before I can get another round into him. Not to worry. Um, I know there's two of them there, but I also know that there's a couple of teammates. Virtually all my team is around this this cap. So we can push a little bit. And hopefully they, they won't focus us. They will focus somebody else, which means we can just farm a bit of damage. We're going to come over the top. There's the 59. Boom. Shell number two. Can we get the third one in? Boom. Yes, we can. And we do just shy of a thousand damage in one burst. This is the the, the joy of this tank. The uh, the charioteer is giving me a hard time over there now, so I'm going to have to back away because he's going to really hurt me. I mean, so far he's done a very low roll on me. He must have had his uh, hesh in and low rolled me. I would have thought probably hit my my spaced armor. I don't know. So now we can push around the corner. Uh, we're fully loaded with our magazine. 
we, we can push around with the rest of our heavies here, the uh, Louvre and IS-6. We can take him out. Goodbye. No, we miss. We don't shoot him, but we're going to take the AMX-5100 instead. That was uh, a wise move. Don't waste your shells on a low hit point target when the team's there. Put the full clip into him. Now we've done 1500 damage and taken another kill. Sorry, taken a kill. We didn't get the uh, 59. Now I can see that we've got tanks all the way up here. I know there's a charity around here somewhere. Um, the KV-2, what we can do there? Oh, we can smack one into him. Can we get another one into him? We haven't. We didn't do any damage there. We didn't do any damage there either. Oh, it's a KV-4, sorry. <laughs> um, KV-4 is really tough armor. So I'm going to roll around here. I don't know where the charioteer is. Um, this is... A risky move because there's a charioteer here somewhere I know because he smacked me up the back there there he is there look hopefully I'm gonna reload before he does he's just put a big roll into me boom there goes number one what about number two boom there goes number two and number three maybe boom there goes number three not a bad trade the charioteer is now a one-shot I'm gonna get out of the way I get very, very, very lucky here. The charioteer low rolls me again, as you see. Boom. Puts one into my backside. It was low roll. Um, I don't particularly want to clear him. We've got four on our team still. I would like to clear the KV-4 instead, so I'm going to leave him. I know he's going to pop up down there somewhere, but there's some team down there if you look at the mini-map, so hopefully they will pick him up. There he is. He's gone. So now I can move in on the KV-4. There he is. Elevation is going to help me clear the KV-4. 3,045 damage. Didn't bounce anything. Got away with on the skin of our teeth. And we get another second class. I like this tank. The AMX-5100 is a nice tank to drive. It's not the easiest tank to drive. And you have to remember, you need to be in close cover, guys, when that reload on your magazine of 20 seconds is taking place. If it's not, you will get wasted. That's the AMX-50-100. Beautiful tank. Great little tier 8. By all means, comment and like and share your thoughts on the AMX-50-100. If you haven't yet, please press subscribe. Nice thing to do and it makes me happy. And you can always take part in my gold giveaway that's running through July. If you have any decent replays, send them to me at fujitsblitz at gmail.com or join my Discord server where you can post them there. And until the next time... Stay safe out there, guys. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking. Because you know what? That's what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.